This is DIY Mushroom Tech with Chapter 3.3.1. Now you will learn how to build the heart of your grow tent. Since this project is multi-layered, I decided to take an unusual approach. I produced this video in a way, that it can also be used as a printout. That means you can use it offline, or even use just print some single pages of it. All the design that are shown can also be downloaded. Hey! My name is Daniel, I am from Germany, and I will be your host. Let's build a controller. When I started, the design was working. If one would put a cover on the box, the mess would vanish. But the solution was not good for sharing. I cleaned it up, and also removed programming. The final design is a kiss. In this video I will give you the specification, after show you how I assembled the controller and show you a video of it. I close with the bill of material you need, if you want to build your own controller. Before we start. I did put a lot of work into this lecture series. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you want to consider to buy me a coffee? There is a serious reason why I ask. In life there is balance everywhere. Summer and winter, day and night hot and cold, and so on. It's obviously natural, that taking and giving is also a polarity that needs to be in balance. Only when there is balance can we, as humans, achieve harmony and genuine happiness. That means, if you take something for example from the internet, you should also give something back. Please check for yourself if your life is in balance. If you want, you can support me with a donation. That would be great. You could also support any other good project. Send someone a smile, leave somewhere a nice comment, or just be joyous and spread some love. Let us start with the specifications. What does a controller need to do? Here you see how a good controller should work. You have a set point, for example certain temperature. In your tent does not have that, that means you have a negative delta. The controller calculates and responsive output voltage for your heating element. The nozzle or the printing bed of your 3D printer are controlled like that. With a PID controller. Good for us, we can simplify the system. Here you see the parts that our system consists of. The tent will be our controlled system. The controller will only start or stop humidifier, illumination according to our targets. Ventilation will run permanently, but you can set up the speed. This is called a bang bang control. Bang for on and bang for off. This makes the build much easier. This was my concept build. I started with an Arduino system. One had to program it with C. I also used a CO2 sensor back then. I learned that that one is not necessary. Just set up your airflow as the mushroom needs it. The first controller I used to control my tent was this one. I added strain reliefs for the external actors. And fast connectors. I added a display, keypad for input and status control. I also needed a real-time clock, to know the time. In this model is till used a CO2 sensor. If one puts a cap on the box, it is also clean. In the next build I improved the cable management. Human machine interface stayed the same. I went all in on DuPont connectors, as they can be easily created with the right tools at home. This build also worked on my tent. This was my last smart build. I stepped up the microcontroller game and added a ESP32. With that I could move into the cloud and control the tent externally. One could also add a camera to supervise the tent from afar. But then I decided, that not many would like to replicate this solution. Could access is not really needed anyway. Then I decided to have everything on one piece of paper. This was possible, do a new humidity controller I did not find a in my first research, and because I decided that CO2 control is not necessary. The template can be glued to a board. Then you drill the holes for the components, you and just connect them. Very easy. 
The board can be mounted on the back of the tent or at the side. It is very cheap to build. Here you see the specifications for my system. You can pause and read them. They are not all conclusive, but you will see, that I reached my goal of high practicality. Ok, now I will teach you, how to build your controller board. You need to print out the template on a 1 to 1 ratio. You will find it where all my PDFs are. I have to assembly documents for you. There is an extra PDF where I show you the wiring as a concept. And there is this video, where I show you a photo assembly. Here is an excerpt from the wiring diagram. First step is to connect the power supply. Example 2, next step is to connect a WAGO connector to the 12 volt system. Please note, that I give you the needed length of the cables. Example 3, you install and power up your humidity slash temperature unit. Example 4, I give you the length and the design of the cable trees that you need. That makes the build very fast. Now we will do the photo assembly. Step by step. Get your wood board. Size does not really matter. I must be bigger than 360 x 30 x 16 millimeters. Print out the layout and glue it to the board. Make sure that you can also position a wiring duct under your layout. Drill 02,5 mm. Holes for self threading. M3 screws. Position the power supply. There should be enough space, that you can also use a bigger one. Mark the drilling positions. 1x ACDC 12V5A, power supply. Drill the two holes. Position the cable duct. Mark the needed positions for drilling. Perform the drilling. Install the cable conduits. Cut the wire ways on the needed positions. Prepare the wiring for the power supply. You also need cable end sleeves. Connect everything. Check if voltage is ok. Please be careful. Connect 12V to a WAGO connector 2212415. Now you need spacer. I printed them. You can also try washers, wood spacer etc. Be inventive. 4x, 3D printed spacer 1. Assemble. Check if voltage is ok. Does not need to be perfectly 12V just be within range. LM2596, step down power module can be calibrated if needed. Set output to 5V. You may need to rotate the knob a lot of times. Install without power, use spacer. 1XXHM452, humidity control. Connect the relays with 5V to supply your humidifier. Connect your 1XCN101A, time control. Wiring connector. Double fold or use other cable. Crimp or solder cable directly. Connect 12V to relay to power your lightning system. Control unit has a battery inside. Connect power supply for your fan. 2XLM2596, step down power module. Connect the output 12V to the terminal. You can set up the fan speed by adjusting the voltage output. The number of fan rotations relate to the voltage. Cover the cable ducts. Install the board on your Martha. Mounting on the back side. This part need to be printed. Mounting on the side. One does not need to break the casing of the tent. I prefer the back side mount. Power it up. Power it up. Insert the cable. Assemble and position the sensor inside. Connect your humidifier, they have an USB connection, via an USB to cable element to your controller. You can use DuPont connection. 
but you can also just solder the cables directly onto the small board. Picture of the, the USB connector. Do not try to cut open an USB cable and try to find power and neutral cable. They are very very thin. I soldered the pins to the board and used DuPont connector. You can just solder the cable directly onto the small board. Connect your fans. I used again Wago connector 2212415 to connect my two fans to the fan power output of the board. Load your Martha. Enjoy your fully controllable growing environment. That's it. No magic. Don't be fearful. Just start the journey. Now I will show you the controller in a video. In this video I will show you how to perform the cloning. Always spray your hands. Work as sterile as possible. There are other builds for the still air chamber. Mine works great. No need to complexify the process. So, what do you need? Not much and all is easy to source. Here is a list for your convenience. XHM452 Temperature Humidity Controller Module Thermometer Hygrometer CN101A, Single and Double Countdown Micro Cycle Time Control Switch Timer Controller Min TZTLM2596, Voltage Adjustable Step Down Power Module Plus Blue LED Voltmeter ACDC 12V Power Supply 60W Transformers 220V to 12V Power Supply Wiring duct with lid cable duct length 2 meters. Wago Terminal Series Splicing Connector 221-2415. Dual row strip screw terminal block. USB female to 5 pin dip adapter 2,54mm breadboard module for Arduino. Universal cable wire connector. Always use fool. DuPont crimping set. I would do it with DuPont connectors. They are really reliable, cheap, and multi-purpose. You need the 12 spacer. They can be found on my 3D printing page. You also need the board that we start at with. That was my main video. The heart of a grow tent, the controller. What are your thoughts? You prefer the Inkbird solution? Please share anything that might be useful for your fellow man. In the next lecture, we will dive into the ventilation system. That one will be a lot easier. Thank you, for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoyed it, and even learned something. 
I am looking forward to see you soon again. Happy building. Bispald.